Hey guys, on this video today I'm going to teach you how to use your external hard drive in order to make Time Machine work on it, okay? So, first of all, what we want to do usually, um, if you have a brand new external hard drive, it's better just to go to disk utility, okay? So just look for it. Um, all Macs have them. Uh, disk utility is a program that's pre-built, so you're good to go. So here's my external hard drive, okay? So you can be whatever size you want. I would recommend going to erase and just format it as this first option. Okay. Now this first option is one of the most simple ones, so you can use Time Machine right away with it. Okay. So once you format that, you just have to click on erase. Okay. Now in a previous video that I made, I taught you guys how to partition your external hard drive. Now you may want to do that if you're gonna use Time Machine and you want to use it. Uh, not just this time machine, but you want to use your external hard drive also to copy and paste files onto it and just move them around. Um, just in case, once we format our um, external hard drive, this option right here, we won't, if you connect it up to a PC, a Windows machine, it will not recognize it. Okay, If you want it to be recognized by a Windows PC, you want to choose XFAT. However, we want this to be used with Time Machine, so we need to choose this first option, okay? So choose that option, erase, it's gonna erase everything in your external hard drive, okay? Once you're done that, it's gonna take about five minutes. Um, you have these three things right here, okay? These are my external hard drives. So from there, we just have to go into System Preferences, okay? So once again, if you don't see it there, you can always just go up here and type in system preferences, okay? So just type it in and you're gonna see it right away, okay? So once we have that right here, okay? You're gonna see Time Machine. Just click on that, okay? Now you guys may have this empty right now, but these are my other Time Machines that I have on. Um, so if you have this empty, all you're gonna see is this right here, add or remove backup. So just click on there and we're gonna see everything that's available so we can do our time machine. So, from here, we can just click on the external hard drive that we have. Um, this is the external hard drive that I have. I didn't put a title on it. I would title it as time machine, so you know that that's the one that you want to use for your time machine. Um, so we're gonna do that before we choose it. So I'm just gonna zoom out. Here's the one that I want to use. Uh, to change the title on it, just simply click on it, press on your keyboard the return key, then press delete, and then you can just name it Time Machine. I'm gonna name it Time Machine iMac, okay? Since I'm gonna use this for my iMac at the moment. It doesn't matter what you call it, you can call it anything you want, you can just call it backup if you like. But that's what I like to name them, just so I know what this part of my hard drive is. Anyways, um, we're gonna go again to add and remove. Okay, you can also remove them from here if you change your mind, just in case. Um, from here, you just click on it. You click on use disk. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna see it here, okay? So here's Time Machine iMac. So you can see it's a three terabyte partition one I'm using. Um, anyways, it's waiting to complete first backup. So if you want it to back up right now, as soon as you do that, you're gonna see this icon up here. This is your time machine. So right now it's preparing my backup. Okay, um, you could skip it right now. I would recommend just doing your backup at the moment. Um, but we're actually gonna skip this backup right now, just for this video. Um, um, now let's say uh, that you didn't get that option to back up right now, you can always just right click on your time machine that you set up and you can just click on backup now. And it's gonna start backing up. So if you're doing this for the first time, it will take uh, some time, so I would leave this just at night time and just let it run, okay? Um, I would recommend having at least a terabyte to do your time machine backup. If your hard drive is from your computer is bigger than a terabyte, you need um, external hard drive that's bigger than a terabyte, okay? So you will need at least two terabytes. Now you can do a backup of your time machine with one terabyte, 
um, if your Mac, let's say, it's also one terabyte, but it won't be the best backup, okay? At least have two. Um, recommended, three terabytes, which is what I have for my one terabyte hard drive. If you have a bigger hard drive, then obviously you want a bigger external hard drive, okay? At this moment, you're all set. All you have to do is click on backup now, and you're ready to go. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.